Hey guys, Andy here, coming at you with a new episode of Life After Navy. And today's episode is a response video to a member of the military vlogging community, uh, Drip46. He is currently an Army Corpsman. His most recent video is talking about some trouble that he's been getting into based on his YouTube videos. Now, I haven't seen the videos in question that he's gotten in trouble over, but apparently from watching his video and from watching uh, response videos from people that he has talked to in private. The basic gist of it is that somebody at his command issued a complaint about his videos. It got sent up through his chain of command and now he's potentially facing a non-judicial punishment or NJP or as we called it in the Navy going to captain's mast or seeing the old man. As another member of the military vlogging community I definitely want to show my support for, uh, for Papa Drip and I'm hoping that he can come back out of this making YouTube videos, educating the community at large about what life is like in the Army and things like that. Showing support for Papa Drip. Dicks out for Drip. <laughs> and uh, I also want to take this time to talk to especially the active duty military vloggers. And a little backstory on me for those who may not know me, may not have seen some of my videos in the past. I joined the US Navy in 2010. I had been making videos on YouTube on a consistent basis since 2008. And I made videos, like a lot of videos, <laughs> from start to finish for my military career from 2010 to 2015 when I got out. And I'm still making videos today, baby. <laughs> Going on 11 years almost, because I started in 2006. But anyway, that's beside the point. The point is, for the active duty military vloggers, it's a bit of, bit of a different issue than for veterans like myself or my boy JT Suits. What a fan! In that we can pretty much say whatever we want and we're not gonna get in trouble for it for the most part. You know, using common sense, of course. But for the active duty people, you do have rules and instruction that you do have to follow involving social media, which includes YouTube because YouTube is technically a social media. If you guys get anything out of this video, I highly, highly, it is imperative you check out what your respective branch's instruction is on social media usage. Whatever your branch is, it doesn't matter. Just go ahead and check out the instruction, and as long as you follow what is on the instruction, you'll be fine. And most of it, uh, from the last time I read it, was pretty much just common sense, you know, don't go Posting stuff you wouldn't want your captain to see. Don't go posting yourself, acting a fool, drinking, all that kind of stuff. Don't post anything that could potentially be incriminating. Don't make derogatory or inflammatory posts online. You know, comments and things like that. And uh, also put up disclaimers saying that what you're putting out there is based on your own opinions and your own personal experiences and is not in any way representing your respective branch, which is one of the reasons why you'll notice in my NFAX videos from back in the day, once I found out about this whole instruction thing, I put up a little disclaimer at the beginning of the video saying, uh, let's, <laughs> let's see if I remember it, it's been a while, but I think it said something like, the following is based on the opinions and personal experiences of the creator and is not officially linked, supported, uh, endorsed, or recognized by the USN, DON, or DOD. <laughs> Got it, baby! But basically, yeah, just put up a little disclaimer, follow the instruction, and you'll be just fine. If you need further clarification on parts of the instruction or just how to execute the instruction, I would highly suggest that you talk to your PAO, your public affairs officer. And if you don't have one, or if you're not on good terms with them, or whatever the case may be, um, also check out your on-base public affairs office and see if you can get some clarification from them because they deal with this kind of stuff on a daily basis so they're probably a little more well versed in it than uh, the average Joe Blow but yeah as long as you follow the instruction you can't go wrong and uh, like I said I've been making videos for a long time made videos throughout my entire military career never got in trouble I have been approached by some people in my chain of command about them most of them are just kind of like thinking it was kind of fun like oh you're just showing off different little travel videos and stuff like that and uh, that's that's cool that's cool you're doing all this stuff 
And, you know, I'd, they see some of my Navy videos and like, that's really cool. You know, you're informing the community. And it was just a place of positivity. But it wasn't always like that. There were some cases, especially very early on to doing these videos in the military, where some people were kind of concerned that maybe, you know, my higher chain of command or Big Navy or something would say, you know, this guy can't be making YouTube videos. You got to tell him to delete his channel and all this kind of stuff. That kind of spooked me a little bit. And that's when I decided to look up the social media instruction online, obviously, <laughs> and uh, just follow the rules, put myself in compliance with the social media instruction. And as long as I was following the instruction, if anybody had a problem with it, show them the instruction, show them that I'm complying with X, Y, Z, and so on and so forth, and I'll be fine. So that is my advice to the active duty reserves community of the military vlogging community. So once again, showing support for, uh, for Papa Drip, Dick's out for Drip, and I uh, hope to see you on the YouTube Zors very soon. So with that said, this is the Andy Son, signing out for now, again, you guys for tuning in to this very short Life After Navy episode and for watching my other stuff. And I'll also put links down below in the boopity boop for uh, Drip's channel to his video. I'll also be uh, sharing links to a couple response videos from Archiesel, who is also a, uh, a fellow Army uh, military vlogger. And of course, to uh, my boy JT Suits. What up, fam? Jesus, that sounds terrible. Uh, so I'll be sharing all that stuff down below, and I'm also going to be putting up links to uh, some social media instruction that I found online um, that is as current as I could find at the time of this recording. Again, I would also like to encourage you to find the most current instruction. So depending on when you're watching this video, what I put down below may or may not be the most current instruction. So just be sure to check that out. Also want to thank you guys for liking, for the thumbs Comment, subscribing, send a few friends to the party, and hey, as always, we'll see you next time. Catch you later, guys. Bye.